Ciao! Steph qui! Oggi abbiamo un'altra bella penna stilografica. And that bella stilografica is the Aurora. Now, as you can see, it comes in this lovely outer case. And if we show you the sideways view there, and all of a sudden you can see the model is the Talentum fountain pen so let's take it out of the outer case let's take the inner box out with a little bit of fiddling let's just remove this outer case to one side and here we have the pen it comes in this lovely leather um, outer case which is in well, it's absolutely lovely and it's spring loaded and if we show you inside you can see again it's got Aurora um, Aurora were making pens from as early as the 1990s and these pens were obviously produced or as it says there made in Italy and they're actually made in Turin to be more, more precise Turin in Italy here's the pen in question first of all if we just take off this top cover here inside we've got the instruction manual which you can actually read and read through at your own leisure if we pop that to one side again and take the pen out of the case and here we have it this is absolutely gorgeous um, as I say the Aurora Talentum fountain pen the pen I believe is made from what they term as a resin and this particular one has this gold plated trim now the colour is this beautiful sort of dark burgundy or I've actually seen them actually quoted as being Bordeaux in colour but it's a lovely lovely sort of rich colour all in all it's a quite a new pen it's a modern pen which is a bit unusual for me but I must admit I actually like this particular pen um, the pen was uh, actually loaned to me from Kirit the gentleman from Aurora UK so thank you Kirit and as I say it comes in this beautiful colour this beautiful sort of deep resin and it's a quite a large pen as well when I say large from the top of the barrel to the bottom of the cap around about 136 millimeters capped around the barrel here it's a lovely chunky 14 millimeters in diameter absolutely lovely for my large hands I actually like these large larger size pens let's show you the trim first of all to the very end of the barrel you can see it's got this gold filled highly polished sort of cap end to the end of the barrel if we take you to the cap band there you can see it's got a lovely quite a large cap band and you can see there with the manufacturer's name Aurora and then if we take you up to the clip a lovely sort of quite standard plain clip very reminiscent of some of the earlier vintage pens it's a, it's a sort of similar to the vintage ball clips and then to the very top again this gold filled or gold plated highly polished cap top to the top of the cap there the thing I like about this particular pen I think it's a lovely handsome pen it's not blingy um, it's not over the top I find it quite well nice and simply a lovely handsome pen and not not over the top if you like now if we unscrew the cap for you like so which unscrews nice and easily let's give you some some twirls of the pen different angles again as I said earlier an absolutely bella penna stilografica let's take you up to the section you can see to the bottom of the section there again we've got this little uh, sort of gold band just above the the thread there you can see the pen has this slight sort of step towards the the barrel there 
and yeah, the, I'd say the this section has it's it's slightly tapered with this little ridge towards the nib. Now, when we say nib, let's show you the nib. A lovely nib, as you would expect from a major manufacturer of fountain pens, and this particular one is a 14 carat 585 Aurora nib. Quite a large nib as well. Let's give you different angles. You can see the sort of the engraving. A very nice nib, if I may say so. I find it quite attractive. Let's show you a sideways view like so. And then if we take you underneath, show you the feed. You can see it's got quite a common sort of feed underneath. Um, I'm not too sure if it's actually an ebonite feed or it is now a plastic feed. I believe it to be ebonite but again I'll stand corrected if I'm wrong on that but all in all a very nice nib incidentally this particular one um, as it said on the box if I remember rightly just bear with me I forgot what it actually says yeah it's a it's a slightly stub nib so if we can keep it nice and still for you show you the very top of the nib you can see it's a stub nib okay so all in all as i say a lovely pen very comfortable to hold in my opinion for my hands a very nice size pens now some of you may sort of say well yes does the you know can you cap the cap basically or can you post the cap um some of you people are aware i am not a fan of posting posting caps on pens because i've actually seen I've actually seen the damage it can do so in my opinion it's just as comfortable just as nicely balanced as it is without the cap being posted the pen is what they term as a cartridge converter which means if we unscrew the barrel you can see inside there we've got the standard sort of aurora converter which as you no doubt know just simply means that you can twist the end and it actually fills with your favorite ink if you don't like the converter as it says it's a cartridge converter pen so you can use cartridges with it if you wish because it's a brand new pen it's not being inked but i know you people like to see pens writing so what i'm going to do i'm just going to simply dip the pen and we'll basically we'll see how it writes so there we go let's dip it in the ink um, as we said what we have here is a Aurora and the model of this particular one is the Talen Talentum very nice writer um, the colour of this one is Bur sorry Bergen oh dear I can't spell today is Burgundy or as some people have uh, have said on this model it's it's a Bordeaux colour. All in all, very nice writer as you would expect from this quality fountain pen. As we said, it's got a stub nib, which means on the cross stroke there, you can see we're getting a fine line. And on the downward stroke, we can get a slight broader line. And there we have it. Very smooth, very nice writer. There's the writing sample. As you can see, some a little bit of variation, which is nice. But a lovely, lovely nib to write with. So let's pop that to one side. Let's pop the cap back on, which, as we've said, screws on. Let's pop the ink to one side. So there we go. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to keep it quite short. So we've got a lovely Aurora Talentium fountain pen um, made by Aurora in Turin in Italy. In this absolutely gorgeous burgundy or Bordeaux colour in this lovely resin. Absolutely lovely. A nice sort of chunky pen which... For me personally, I prefer, and 
a very unassuming pen, it's not blingy, it's a very handsome pen in my opinion. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't be shy, leave a comment below and once again thank you Kirit for loaning me this pen, you'll have it back quite soon but on this particular occasion I'm just going to simply say Arrivederci!